Yeah, he holds a senior so world record. Got, yeah. He's got junior world records and senior world records in multiple in classes. In two categories, yeah. And there he is now warming up. He has uh, Andrea Bozidar on the platform with him. Athlete in the back. There'll be a few coaches there with him also. They seem to train together some of the sessions yeah. I saw in the training hall. Yeah, and he um, he's... I was speaking with Sergei Putsov today, and he... Sergei spoke about uh, Carlos as being deaf and mute two years ago in the training hall. Basically, mm. you know, didn't say a word, didn't look around. Yeah. To now, he's, you know, his English has improved and he's keeping his head up a little bit more. He's getting a lot more confidence, which is nice to see. I mean, when you're 18 years old, I know that he looks like the kind of person who <laughs> should have all the confidence in the world, but he's actually a pretty shy uh, kid, I guess you, you could call him. Yeah, I guess a 220 kilo clean and jerk at 89 might might give you a little boost. Might give you that. There's Marin Robu, one of our favorite athletes. Of course, he bombed out last year at the European Championships in the 81 kilo category with an injury to the elbow during the snatch. The World Championships, he snatched 161 kilos. His best snatch, though, was at the World Championships in 2021, where he battled it out with Carlos. He uh, snatched 168 kilos there, cleaned it 195, took the bronze. Carlos went on to take the gold medal. It's the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rematch we didn't realize we, we were getting. Yeah, we didn't know it was here. Yeah, yeah. He's moved up, right? He's an 89 now, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So we'll see if he's added something to the clean and jerk. I don't, I don't think he's going to be hang, well, able to hang with uh, Carlos, but you never know. Yeah, there's Rafael Friedrich from Germany, 120 kilos. He's put in 155 for his opener. The lightest opener looks to be 145 kilos by Dombrovsky. The heaviest, well, the heaviest written in is 175 by Antonina Pizzolato, though we do believe that he will not be lifting, unfortunately. Andranik Kaupetian, 170 kilos. That's the heaviest. Then Carlos Nassar, a very tame-looking 165 kilo opener, though, of course, that, again, may well change. We saw Maxim last year, very strong lifter. Like most of the Ukrainians, he's just very technically sound. Has that sort of model Ukrainian technique. Stays over the bar really well. Yeah, Connects very, very lifts. strong legs. Yeah, just very rigid everywhere. He doesn't have any kind of softness in his lifting or in now his movements. I believe he's a power jerker. Yes, I think so. Yeah. He's probably either the smallest, shortest, sorry, or the second shortest athlete in the field between him and Kao Petian who I saw snatching around 160 kilos, I believe it was, in the training hall. There's Kronar Shoraj, one of the older athletes in the field today, 31. 157 kilos is his best snatch, 198 in the clean and jerk. Hopefully we see him put on a bit of a show and, and turn it up and maybe hit that 200 kilo mark today. And there's the man who we expect might look for a gold medal in the snatch in front of a home crowd, Andranik Karapetian. Snatched 174 kilos as a 77 kilo lifter, I believe. The second heaviest snatch from a 77 behind Liu Jiaojun. Now as a heavier 89 kilo lifter, he snatched as much as 175 kilos, which would have been more than anyone made at the World Championships. Here's 140 by Arters. Vasilinovsk. There's uh, Andruskovich, his coach. coach. Yeah. One of those coaches, very similar to George Yasinidze, who's just extremely detail-oriented, very mm -hmm. attentive. And then obviously Victor Cervatis, helping load weights. 2008 silver medalist, I believe. Yeah, Super that's right. Yeah. Olympics. Second to Matthias Steiner. Mm -hmm. Our right. man's now the second of the two Latvians sharing a platform in the end. They have been given the same platforms, but seeing as they have very similar openers in the snatch 150 versus 151, I guess it makes sense for the coaches and the athletes who likely train together. Probably they train on 
platform side by side or even on the same platform every day. Makes sense that they might share a platform here today. But you don't see that very often. No. And there is Antonino Pizzolato. I wonder how long he has to stay there before he's able to leave. Yeah. My guess would be that he's probably got to wait the entire time for doping control. Ah, uh, yeah. So he'll have uh, not necessarily the best, actually, position to watch this from. You'll be seeing the back row. No, but no. So Dombrowski first out with 145. Very solid snap. Yeah. I wonder what he can squat. I mean, he has some extremely impressive yes. legs. Yeah. So 162 kilos is his best. So he's, he's quite way down. But, of course, the, uh, the lifestyle of these Ukrainian athletes has changed considerably over the last few years. And so the ability to reach these top-level weights is um, unsurprisingly much more difficult right now. So he's still got 145 or 146. He'll bump that up. Yeah, he'll bump that up likely to 149, I would have thought, to bring out maybe 150 to bring out Theodoros Iakovidis from Greece. A man, again, who's opening relatively light for a 161 kilo snatcher. Yep, he's made that change to 150. So Theodoros now, the athlete on the board. Nope, he's moving as well. Jakovidis is moving up. Mazinski's would be the lifter if that's the case. No. Jakovidis is the lifter at 150. Yeah. Good wow. snatch. Yeah. You know, he took 26 seconds from when he touched the bar to when he pulled it off. There was eight seconds on the clock. He touched the bar at 34. I remember thinking to myself, he's going to just wait for that buzzer and go. Was, but yeah. it took 26 seconds for him to go. You know, some athletes are just, well, I guess they're built a little differently. They mm -hmm. like to take that time. They sit there. They get... Basically, a little more tension, focus, run through their head, what they're going to do technically. Others just, just kind of walk up and go. Maybe less thinking is better for them. There's Maxim. One fifty. A lot of power in his pull. Ooh, yeah. A little bit funky footwork there. Yeah, you can yeah. See one foot landed before the other. Just wasn't smooth, wasn't rhythmic. A lot of power, like you said, but uh, without good timing, it really doesn't matter how strong you are. So let's see if he cleans that up. Extremely stocky athlete. A lot of muscle mass in the legs. 
Yeah, you'll notice he's probably going to excel in the clean and jerk beyond. Oh, yeah. Uh, 207 we've seen, seen from him. Yeah. He's done some very big snatching, too, as well. I think 162 kilograms is his best. So I think we're going to move over probably to the Latvians now, who have bumped up respectively by three kilos each between Artis and Armands. Oh, Dombrovsky withdraws his third attempt. Oh, interesting. I wonder if... Uh, was that an injury or was... Maybe some, some small injury. He looked okay. He looked absolutely fine as he walked off. It, it did look uncharacteristic of him, though. I think if you notice, he looked a little bit shaky, kind of yeah. just off. It wasn't quite the smooth, powerful snatch we've seen him do before. He so Andruskovic just came in and made some changes. The Latvians have bumped up by a kilo apiece again. Our man's to 154, Arta's to 155. Of course, the Latvians have lifted pretty well here. They won a gold medal in the men's 73s. Ritvar Suharas. His first ever continental champion. And it looks like he is going to come out for this 154, at which point the yellows will come out and will be at 155. Oh, there's Nassar with 50. Yep. Just now starting. This is a kilo personal best for him. Ah, beautiful lift. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, you can just see the technique. So smooth, so confident. It's always a pleasure to watch a lift like that where you know there's just more in the tank. Mm -hmm. Going to see a lot of makes from him. Yeah, great turnover there. So, as we mentioned, Carlos Asar in the back room is at 50 kilos. Marin Robu, who we expect to try to get into the 170 range, he's got 120 kilos loaded. And Dranik Karapetian, however, is still working on the bar. He's yet to load any plates. The winning total from the B group is 323 kilos. I'd be surprised if anyone had any trouble catching that today. So Nico Mula now is asking for 155 kilos. We've seen him go as heavy as 161 in the past. He used to be a very strong 85 kilo lifter. Dropped to 81 briefly and now back up to 89 for this Olympic category. But before we get there, the teammate of our man's, Arturs, will now come out with 155. To give him a kilo up on his teammate. Again, beautiful snatch. Yeah. One thing you'll notice is the way he sets up and starts, he pulls almost exactly like Victor Cervati's used to pull. Uh, yeah. Has the hips high and then kind of gently drops them into position. But yeah. the two of those lifters, so technically sound. Everything looks balanced, looks controlled. Really a pleasure to watch. Yeah, well, as far as I know, the Latvian is still one of the few countries to train very similarly to the old Soviet methodology. Mm. A lot of training sessions, a lot of variation in exercise. They push them very, very hard. Here's Teodoros. He has to be the tallest athlete in the field. Uncharacteristically long legs for a weightlifter. Now he may well run this clock down quite away. Uh. 
Ten seconds left. Three. Three. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Zero seconds on the clock here yeah. behind him. You probably can't see it on the stream, but he... He, you see that? There, he gives the double zeros there. He knew it was zero. Yeah, I think wow. he's the kind of athlete who he certainly keeps his eye on it, but sometimes athletes almost get a little bit paralyzed by the ability to start pulling at any point and only once the option to no longer remain motionless sort of is approaching can they find it in them to initiate that pull. Yeah, some, some people like that. They, they like the pressure. They, they get that anxiousness, right? before they start. Yeah. Uh, well, the once, I suppose, Greek athlete, uh, Kaku Kakafili, yes. used to do something similar, just run down the clock. Yeah. You know, every, every coach's uh, nightmare, though. Yes. <laughs> Watching the athlete burn through that clock. Not sure what's going to happen. Yeah, it is a little bit nerve-wracking. So we're already up at 158 kilos for Marin Robu, who has just bumped up to 161. As far as we know, he's... Only at around 140 kilos on the bar in the back room, so he's not ready to come out yet. Nor would he at such a light weight. And so Raphael Friedrich from Germany will be the first of the two German athletes out. Both of them, though, with 158 kilos written in for their opening attempts. Very Beautiful smooth. lift, yeah. We've ex come to expect that from yep. the Germans. Just very sharp lifting, great technique. They do such a fantastic job of execution on the techni technical side of the lifting. Obviously, not quite as strong as his competitors here, but he's, he's moving his way up there. So Yakovides is out again here, just a three kilo increase. I would say he has impeccable timing. Yep. Well, he's got 39 seconds on the clock, so we might be here a little while before he goes. Settles in, getting his grip. He's well aware of what's on the clock. 10 seconds. Oh, that, that is just so nice. Yeah, fantastic third <laughs> attempt. Yeah, he makes you wait, but it's worth it. Yep, he it's delivers. so, so worth it. Fantastic snatching from Rakovides this meet. Three for three. Wonderful stuff. So I feel like we're kind of up in the thick of it now. I mean, once the bar gets to 160, in my mind, that's where things really start to get yep. very interesting in the oh, snatch. Oh, wow. Two an Albanians <laughs> pulled out here. Shiraz. Does that count as bombing out if they withdraw? I don't, I don't think so. I think, yeah. I think the bomb has to be dropped. The bar's so going to fall. Both Krenna Shoraj and... Antonino Pizzolato, unfortunately, have and both withdrawn. Dombrovsky's withdrawn from the snatch. I'm a third attempt, curious yeah. if he'll clean and jerk. Wow, Nico yeah. Müller is looking thick, is he not? Yes, yeah. We've never seen Nico Müller looking like that. He's certainly bulked My up My word. This. And it, tell you what, he's looking good because his best snatch was 161 kilos, I believe. Yeah. He Just told us that the most he's made in training in the build-up to this is 160 kilos. So to come out and have the confidence to just open up like that, a kilo below his training make, stunning stuff. <laughs> Worth mentioning as well that Teodoros, you know, he just went three for three. He told us that his best lift was 152 and a half in the last year wow. in training. Fantastic day for him. Yeah. 
Nazinski's out with 160. This will pass his teammate by five kilos. They're going to go back and forth, I think, this competition. Oh. Uh, yeah. Looked so good initially, but just can't get the bar behind his head there. Yeah. And he is never yet really, I mean, he, he's never really been on a podium at an international properly at a senior level. He did take the silver medal in 2017 at the European Youth Championships. But uh, since moving up to the senior category, it's been uh, a lot of six, eights, fourths, elevens at the World Championships. But he looks to be in better shape here. Snatching more than we've ever seen from him. Very so similar story here with, with Arters. Not yet made it to a senior podium. But both these Latvians are snatching considerably more than they did in Colombia. He only made 149 there. And he's at 160 now. That should be 11 kilos more. Ah, much better than his teammate. Yeah, he's got that, yeah. as you mentioned, he's got that higher hip start that he, that he sinks down, but he doesn't sink them down much. Yeah. Still relatively high off the floor before he pulls. Yeah, you can see it almost like he likes to have a little bit more tension maybe in the yeah. back of his leg, tension in the hips and hamstring. But beautiful lift. It tends to be that the longer-limbed athletes, longer-legged, do start like that with the higher hips. I noticed that earlier this week, Carlos Nassar, who you wouldn't call a short-limbed athlete, starts in the snatch with his hips as deep as they can go as he pulls. Well, the longer leg, too, obviously, when the leg is longer. We always reference relative to yeah. the torso. So it's not an objective length, but relative to the length of someone's torso. Their hips have to start higher, otherwise their shoulders would be so far behind the bar at the beginning mm -hmm. of the lift. Yeah. It would just be difficult to get the knees out of the way of the bar as it moves up the leg. Now here's Robu with 161. Yeah, is he gonna, yeah, he is yeah, gonna come out it. here. Looks like 150 is loaded on the barbell of Carlos Nassar. Robu's best is 168. From 2021. Yeah. So this would be comfortable territory for him. And he has moved up a class. Very unusual technique. That yeah. looks that very solid. Yeah, and I have to say, I uh, kept that little secret to myself there, was that he missed 160 kilos twice in the training hall <laughs> wow. uh, on the day that he arrived two days ago. Uh, and so I just had this fear in the back of my mind that he wasn't going to be in uh, so good shape. Yeah. But that looked much more solid. Yeah, it's actually one of the best snatches we've seen him do, technically. I mean, he yeah. was deep in that catch. Yeah, we you noticed know? that actually, since moving up the weight categories, his bottom position has improved, his yeah. ankle limitation seems better, his, just his hips, everything about his technique, his positions look much more comfortable and normal, I suppose. So our man's missed 160 kilos on his second attempt. If he misses this, he'll be credited with 154 opener. Oh, it's a yeah. great fight, but... Yeah, you could see on the first attempt at that 160, he opened up a little bit early, got his shoulders just a little bit too, opened up and left that bar in front. So two athletes still yet to open. Carlos Nassar, who I believe might actually open at 165 kilos. He knows that with a cleaner jack as strong as his, this category is his to lose. And given the bomb out that he had at the World Championships, he might play the slightly safer card of an easier opener at 165 kilos before taking some 
yes. launch of jumps. It's a strategy for sure. We'll see if uh, <laughs> if he does that. Friedrich's last lip was very solid. Oh, wow. Yep. Nice lift. Yep. Very, very <laughs> similar overhead position yeah. to Max Lang, his yeah. lighter teammate. I think it's just the, the arm positioning, the, the slightly wider grip. Yeah. The uh, cock back of the wrists. The Germans really spend a lot of time working on a certain technical model for sure. Whether that is always the best strategy is obviously left to be determined in competition, but that's their plan. Nico Mueller here. This is a international best for him. You know, I think we're probably actually witnessing a few battles here, Latvia and Germany, two athletes in each class, in this class, probably battling for their potential Olympic spot. Oh, he shorted the pole there for sure. Yep. Now, Nico Müller, of course, won the European Championships back in 2018 as a 77 kilo lifter. He snatched 155 kilos there. He's won a couple of internationals since, two cup events. Competed at the Olympic Games. He actually took a medal back in 2010 at the Youth Olympic Games also. Third attempt now for Arters. For Silanox. Three kilo jump. 149 was his best, I believe, prior to this. Sorry, 149 is what he made at the World Championships. 157 is his competition best. So he's deep into PR territory here. Watch the start. High hips with a slow drop into that position. Oh, oh my what word. A fight, what a fight. That Can is he one stabilize? of them. <laughs> he knows. He had a little smile on his face. Just as he turned, he knew that he caught it. And that is the save of the championships. I mean... I haven't seen something like that from a lifter of that size. I mean, no, we've seen some it's of the, the size of it. Smaller lifters, smaller women make yeah, lifts like at that. Yeah, a way like that. Look at this step. And then he rotates that hip, turns the torso, and somehow maintains fantastic. his lockout. Fantastic. Wow. That's staggering. What a fantastic lift. Huge. Okay, Nico Müller now back out, 163. He was not close on the first attempt with this. He cut the pole pretty significantly at the top. Oh, oh Just a bit yeah. better, but not quite enough. You know, he's not a lifter who pushes his head through or gets the bar particularly far behind. He is always very vertically stacked from the torso right up to the right up to the wrist and you can just see it was a touch too yeah. far forward you know there's a balancing act there the more vertical you extend the top the you know the more you fight for that yeah the more precarious the position becomes if you're just a little shy on the power or or that explosion doesn't quite propulse the bar in the right path it can be forward on you even though everything looks great and you're strong the bar just doesn't get to where it needs to go yeah you know, the opposite obviously is true. If you're more wild and really throw the bar behind you, you're dealing with fighting those forces. 165 for Nassar, he is taking it. This is a bit different than we've seen. He's maybe being conservative here. So Carlos Nassar now, we've just noticed on the other side of the platform, is Antonino Pizzolato. He's yep. come out on the other side of the tunnel, staring towards Carlos. I think Carlos just looked I up and I saw, saw him there. I saw that too, yeah. He just, I think he just glance. They just locked eyes. Nino is taking a keen interest in this opening attempt. Wow, very comfortable. 
and I can inform you that Antonino Pizzolato is motionless, staring at Carlos. I have to wonder or ask, what do you think about that? I, he's, I, he's not competing, and his presence on the other side of the platform for Carlos to walk out and look at, to me, is... It's not a privilege that an athlete who's competing would ever be able to have because yeah. they shouldn't be able to come out to the other side of the platform. I think it tells me two things. One is that Nino is certainly hurting. Otherwise, he would want to be competing. You can tell he's definitely, uh, his mind is on that platform. But two, uh, that battle is very much real and very much alive. I don't think he would walk out here watching, waiting to see what's going on if uh, he was playing a different race. Okay, 165 now for Raphael. Four kilo personal best. Oh, oh. Great save at the bottom yeah, there. Yeah, a little adjustment, and he's up with it. Yep. Just what like a performance. Just like we talked about earlier with the Germans, that slight bit too vertical extension but he makes that final effort to get his head through. Yep, that's four kilos up on his best. He made 160 at the European Champs last year, 161 at the Naeem Sulimanoli tournament, and now a further few kilos. That is huge. And Andrade Carapetian has just taken 160 kilos in the back room. He will be our final athlete to open but not yet. Marin Robu will no doubt come out and take 166 kilos to move ahead of the two athletes with 165 and uh, guarantee himself a medal in the snatch if he makes this. Of course, he made 168 kilos as an 81 kilo lifter, so this is well within his abilities. He snatched 175 kilos in training, he told us, in the build-up to this competition since the World Championships. He's had to gain weight pretty quickly. Four months to move up a category. Uh, deeper bottom position, but it was forward. So he has one attempt remaining. It's right there. Karapetian's dropped to 167. I think we'll see Marin probably bump up for the rest. Or bring out Karapetian. Still, still Robu here, 166, but his clock's burning here. He's got 41 seconds. Nope. I think we're going to see a change. Two-minute clock starts. He's going to stay at 166. It would put him into first, technically, for now. Yep. Okay, here he comes. And then uh, Carpet in at 167. So Marin Robu now definitely feeling like he has an opportunity and a medal in the total now that the news of Pizzolato was drawing has landed. That's better. Wow. Yep. Great snatch. Yeah. Just, Just moved, moved it behind. <laughs> Yeah, he's ahead now. He's first on the board, technically. Yeah. We still have one more athlete to open. 167 for Carpetian and Carlos Nassar with two attempts left. Yep. The crowd favorite here. Andronic Carpetian. Yeah, a lot of noise here. Getting a huge applause from the Armenian fans.
Oh, wow. There we go. What an opening attempt for Karapetian. We saw him work up to 160 kilos in the training hall pretty comfortably, and that 167 also looks very good. Well, now the battle for first in the snatch is going to come down to Carlos and Karapetian. Carlos only with 165, two kilos behind Karapetian. Carlos has asked for 170. I think we have to assume Karpetian's probably going to move above that even. So two attempts remain for each of them. Carlos Asar, of course, has the far stronger clean and jerk than Andranik Karpetian. And he'll come out now. With 170 kilos, he's playing this very carefully. And again, Antonino Pizzolato is standing, facing Carlos now on the other side of the platform from where Carlos has entered. Wow. Oh, he's that on was form. Incredibly strong. Yep. Well, you know, that's the weight that he made in the training hall just a few days ago. And it looks very comfortable. I think he could definitely look to take 175 kilos. For sure. That was opener level easy. His junior snatch world record is 171 kilos. So there is a chance he will look to yeah. get a new record. Yeah, he's not really going to be contested by anyone with the clean and jerk he has and the shape he looks like he's in. Yep, both athletes have put for 172. Uh -huh. I imagine Carapetian will take that. Carlos will go a little bit up. Nope. Oh, Carapetian's bumped to 173. I don't think Carlos will take 72. Looks like Carapetian's coming out. Anticipating the Bulgarians to move back up. Yeah, well, at this point, the question is, is Carlos concerned more with gold across the board? He certainly has the ability to, to win the snatch. Kilos shy of his best. Very wow. solid. He's in exceptional shape here today. He really is. What a second attempt snatch of one remaining. Armenia knows they're really only going to go for a snatch medal here. Yeah. They just cannot even come close to. Well, maybe in the total if he gets far enough ahead. For sure, for sure, but not a gold. No, no. Certainly not. So I imagine Carlos will come out for 74. 174 kilos would yeah, move him ahead. He told us, Max, that he snatched 187 kilos in training. That's, that's just staggering. That equals the old world record from the 85 kilo category. Well, I mean, yeah, the, 90, the 94s was only 188. 189 eventually with yes. Sarab. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, Marathi. So Carlos Nassar is coming out now for 174 kilos. A three kilo international record for him. And of course, a kilo less than the winning snatch from last year.
Oh, uh, he's looking in good shape, isn't he? Beautiful lift. Three yeah, for three wonderful stuff. Snatch. That is a new junior world record. A complete 180 from Worlds. Yep, three kilos up on what he made as his absolute best. Three kilos up on last year. I have to wonder what Nino is thinking now. That's only a kilo less than Nino snatched a year ago. Now, what does Carapetian do? Does he come down? He's got 178 written in. Does he come down to 75 for the win? Or is he going to take this? That would just be an enormous number. If he does, it's going to equal the senior European record. Uh, yeah, a, a bit of an odd call An odd there. call. He's, he's walking out here. He's yep. going for it. One more kilo would uh, get a new senior European record. But we've seen this several times. But he's not going for it. Athletes seemingly not taking the extra kilo either for a, a higher placing or, in this case, a record. Wow. There we go. That is absolutely astonishing. That's a new personal record for him here. Yeah, that is huge. A three kilo international record for Carpetian. And I believe the heaviest snatch that any 89 kilo lifter has achieved since the category began. Just a kilo less than the world standard. If he had gone for 180 kilos for a world record, I think he might have made it. I, I, I would believe that. I don't think that would be a man I'd want to bet against. Goodness me. 178 kilos. Wow. That is just incredible. What a remarkable lift. We know he's a good snatcher, but that was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we knew that he was going to do well. We knew that with a home crowd here, he was going to be looking to put up as big a performance as possible. But three for three, 178. Yeah. Huge. Carlos Nassar with 174 kilos. Three for three as well. Just yep. a, a, an incredible performance. He's matured quite a bit as a competitor. As he really an athlete. has. Uh, and I think we said this before, you know, a, a, a little bit wiser, a little bit more mature, experienced Nassar could be an unstoppable force. His strength his, is just incredible. So Very, the yeah. bronze medal then in the snatch is going to go to Marin Robu with 166 kilos, the silver to Carlos Nassar, 174, and then uh, the gold medal to Andranik Carpetio. Only five missed lifts in that entire session. Now, Carlos would still need 219 kilos in the cleaner jerk to get a new world record total. That's true, yeah. Which to me means you just go for 221. Yeah, I can't see him. Yeah. I can't see him. Knowing, knowing the little bit I do know about Carlos and what I've seen, uh, he's no stranger to taking giant attempts. So 221 would, yeah, like you said, probably be the biggest, the biggest attempt he needed to take. Yeah, what a great session. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, disappointing not to see Antonina Pizzolato, but that snatch battle there, I have to say... I didn't think he was going to make the 178. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. It was agree. just so big. I just thought, surely that's going to be a touch too far for him. Well, you know, we've I thought it was greedy. I thought maybe 175, yeah. go for the one kilo gold. We've seen him before. He's been around for a long time. Oh, yeah. A great snatcher. He was a pretty good clean and jerker. He did suffer a pretty serious injury, and, and that really changed the trajectory of his career. But to see him here snatching a, a record like that is amazing. Yeah, three these kilo, are three, enormous. Yeah, three kilos on his best ever. Wow. And in front of the, the hometown yeah. crowd, it's got to feel fantastic. Not necessarily an athlete whose build you'd expect would yeah. lend itself to become a great snatcher, but that tends to be the case with the Armenians. You know, when Gorman Assen used to compete for Armenia, he was certainly not the body type you'd expect to have seen become such a great snatcher. Yes. Whereas that Lalian, similarly. Yes, you know, an interesting thing, we saw Gore training in the training hall, speaking of body types, and, you know, we see him snatch on the platform. I think a lot of, a lot of fans watching oftentimes think he's power snatching, and 
I think the consensus is usually a thought that, well, his bottom position is just not that that low. Right. And lo and, and yeah, behold, I watched him the other day do a clean grip snatch with 160 kilos, and he received it in a, you know, the lowest possible position you could imagine. Hips way lower than his knees. It was so deep. I was just completely shocked. It was bizarre to increase the mobility demands of a lift and for him to accept those demands and just go for it. Yeah. And it, then you said, well, maybe, maybe he is actually <laughs> power snatching intentionally. Yeah. Uh, maybe which, one day he'll load 220 kilos or more in, in full depth. It. Well, he was doing snatch pulls afterward with, with 220 or 230. And, and you know, you could, I mean, you could conceivably see him get under that. Uh, really incredible. Yeah, what a great session, though. You're Nino now in the back room. You just watched Carlos do 174. You've got to be a bit frustrated knowing that you could have been out here going head to head. Right. 174, you know, right around what you could do. Well, he's Two done 175, yep. of course, last year. And 220 is not far from 217. Nino's lift from, yep. his winning lift from 2022. I think that I think that the fire is probably stoked, right? But of course, two athletes who meddled in the snatches are going to be quickly having to hurry up in the cleaner jerk. Particularly this man, the winning yes. snatch, he could well be one of the first athletes out in the cleaner jerk. He's got written in 200 kilos. I would be stunned. That would be very big for him. I mean, maybe it's a case of he's going to open up with his best. And take three attempts. He'll suddenly make the clean look easy. It's just the the jerk he has such problems with. You know, although if he's in the shape to do 178, maybe 200 yeah. is in the cards. I mean, that's a three kilo record from what he's seen him do. And he's, you know, he's generally struggled a bit more in the clean and jerk to say the uh -huh. least. But yeah, you know, possibly 200. Maybe he drops down. Maybe the 200 is really just a placeholder and we see him open closer to the 193 to 195 mark, but even that is big. 195, the best we have here for his clean and jerk. So very interesting. Yeah, Marin Robu, I assume, will also be an athlete who has to relatively quickly load up. 190 kilos he's asked for for that opening attempt, which seems about right. He, he may well bump that. I wouldn't be surprised if he bumps up a few kilos, depending on what his competitors have done before yeah. him. But certainly he and Karapetian, particularly Marin, who is only a few kilos ahead of a couple of other athletes, he's going to be the one who is nervous about what these clean and jerks may hold. Karapetian, so far ahead oh, yeah. in the snatch, it seems impossible if he makes an opener that he's not going to end up with some sort of medal in the total. Yeah, I think, well, we know he's going to, he would struggle tremendously to beat Carlos, but, but, uh, yeah, there's just no way. 178 is so big. Yeah. Yeah, 14 kilos. I mean, let's put it like this the lead here gold medal snatch at the World Championships was 175 kilos. Yes. And that was, of course, from the world champion, Kedemar Vayanir. So for him to just go three kilos up on that, you know, He's the kind of guy where we thought there's no way Carpetian will get himself into the top eight in the no, world no. And, and make a shot at the Olympics. But a top eight total right now, we're looking at, well, things are a bit different at the World Championships. There was a, there was a front pack and, and we didn't have Nino, we didn't have uh, Carlos getting a total. But I imagine by the end of it, when push comes to shove, when all is said and done, if you can't total over three, seven, five. Yeah. I don't think you're going to the Olympics in this category, yeah, which is massive. Possible. You know, Kino Tristami made 380 kilos. I think he's safe. He came fourth at the World Championships. Uh, Lee Huan Hua has made 381. Uh, Brian Rodelegas, 381 as well. Kedemar, 385. We're still waiting for Carlos Needs to get into that top eight today. That's Antonio true. Pizzolato has made 392 kilos, but he's not yet in that because he did that before qualifying began. And well, so it. What would Carapetian, if Carapetian made 202 kilos, that would be 385. Yeah. Or three, 380, 380, sorry. 380, yeah. That would, there's no way that 
he's not going to make it to the Olympics with I, that, surely. I would, I would be shocked to see him not get there with a 380. Maybe he would get inched out. 380 is huge. You know, That's uh, what yeah. Rostami just made. Well, I mean, wh one of the more interesting aspects of this whole conversation is the names we're saying in the 89 kilo A session, for the 2023 European Championships are not the names I thought we'd be talking about. Right. Right. We're sitting yeah. here discussing Karapetian, who put a massive performance <laughs> of snatch in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you mentioning Rostami as well. I mean, what an interesting yeah. class this is shaping up to be. And then, of course, at the upcoming Asian Championships, we expect to see Tian Tao. Yes. You know, we expect to see potentially Li Dayin, apparently, is moving up to 89. Wow. Liu Huanhua, three Chinese 89s. Not sure who's going to get the selection finally, but I believe they're all entering. That's just going to be a meat grinder. Three Chinese are going to have to basically kill each other to get yeah. on that team. To make that slot. And even if they then do, the odds of Team China selecting one of them for the Olympics, right. when you've got the dangers of Nassar and Pizzolato lurking, and, and Vainier and yeah. Rastami. And wow, what a, what a yeah, what incredible... <laughs> incredible lineup. My feeling 89s. is that for Team China, the only way that someone's going to make it in the 89s is it would probably have to be Kedema, uh Sorry, it would have to be Tian Tao, if, yeah, and he would have to be in the shape that he used to be in. Yeah, they'd have to when go he would do sort of like a yes. a 178 yeah. and a 223. They've got to go blow for blow with Carlos. Yeah, and Carlos yeah. is so young and he is so good. And what we're seeing now, he continues this run of you know making lifts, making big totals. I mean, we could see him do, I mean, he could do 400. Yeah. You know, that's He'll not, be a junior at the Olympics still. That would be an amazing, 400. amazing total. I mean, that that's... Is the lightest person to ever do 400, Vardanian? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Unless Latev happened to weigh a little bit less yeah, there, there and do been, 400. Yeah, could have been someone else. Could have been a different meet, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's... It's of the modern era. Yeah, I mean, we're talking Carlos, about yeah. we're talking about 1980s here. Right. The numbers that Carlos is capable of. Well, 396 kilos was the total world record in the old 85 kilo category from Kinish Rastami. So we're still four kilos below that. Yes. At a category four kilos heavier. Got Opening the attempt now for Teodoros. Yeah, the snatch isn't quite what it was then. No. Seven seconds. There he goes. Yep. Nice recovery. Those long legs make it hard to stay upright. Makes the adjustment with his hands. Very wide grip. Oh, power jerk. Big press out on his left elbow, yep. unfortunately. Yeah, you'll see that in the replay. I think we're going to see some reds pop up on the board. Just one. Wow, he was given that lift. What? I, I'm. Yep, the jury stops, though. Yeah. That was the most egregious press out I think we've seen. Well, it was just the center ref that gave the red, so possibly the other refs didn't see. Maybe they were both looking at the same arm. Yep. And clearly on the yeah. right of the screen, his left elbow, you will see as he dip and drives and catches the bar, quite a big press. They've implemented some new technology here where they can circle, maybe draw some lines on the screen here. Yep show us kind of which elbow it is. Yeah, you can see even yeah. look out. he makes that readjustment, both hands, gets a wide grip like that. Oh, and then they cut. There it is. Yep. So, 180 is going to stay on the bar. Echovides is probably going to repeat that. He would have to take a five kilo jump to buy any more time. That's just not worth it. You know, it's it's very rough for a lifter who's not particularly strong in the squat uh, to have a very short rest time because he's fighting a little bit harder than he would if he had strong legs. You can 
and see. He's got a minute 30. Yeah, it's a tough situation for him. Yeah. Oh, and we can confirm that Dombrovsky has withdrawn from the clean and jerk yeah, also. Potentially injured. Wow, that's three out of 11 athletes are not going to end up with the total. Pizzolato, Shoraj from Albania, and now Dombrovsky from Ukraine. Wonder if we can get some info on what happened there. So Yakovides here burning the clock down. He's at a minute yeah. left. For an athlete who's not particularly strong relative to some of these other lifters, having to follow himself, it's not going to be easy. But he is a master of using every second yeah. of that <laughs> clock. So he'll get all the rest he needs, or all the rest he can. Yeah, he said that he's facing a bit of a um, wrist injury at the moment. Yeah, it could potentially be the reason for that press out. When you have an injury in a limb, sometimes your body wants to protect against mm. it, and you slow down your, your movements, and you might still have the strength, but the speed's not enough to actually be locked out. Watch for the recovery and the clean. Oh, good, good job. Makes that readjustment with the hands. He's just got to be a little bit faster on the lockout. Mm. That looked to be better. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I think that's going to hold three whites. So now... The he's most on the board. Likely move he's going to make is at least to 185. Yeah. I don't think he's going to want another two minute clock. Although I would not be surprised if Rafael bumps up from, one si from 185. Yeah, he could end up taking yeah. his own clock from himself. Well, Rafael, who snatched 165, he has one of the lightest openers. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate because Dombrowski might have been similar in the clean and jerk with him. Maybe giving him a little bit more recovery between lifts. But with him out, this uh, clean and jerk portion is going to go quite a bit faster. Marin Lo Robu has loaded 180 kilos in the back room, having just made 170 kilos. So it seems to be that he is getting close to readying himself for a 190 kilo opener. Yeah, I think we're going to get a bump in weight here. We see the Greek coach there moving to 184. I'm going to guess that they'll make one more change to yeah. 85. Just to slow it down a little bit. Yeah. And of course, they'll have to put their fives on. It will give them a little bit more time. You know, this is a good example of where a B session, you know, makes a big difference for someone like this. If he had been in a, a top of the B session, yeah. you know, he might have been able to follow a couple other lifters in similar numbers. Potentially, just depends on the number of lifters there. Yep, we're getting so, a move. But we can also see Nico Muller's just got 190 kilos loaded on the barbell for him. Wow. So if he's expecting to take that, he could be assuming to be opening up in the mid to high 90s, which is really pushing his 201 international record. Raphael, who snatched so brilliantly the three for three performance. And we had five athletes go three for three there, which is definitely more yeah. than we've seen in any other category. Just goes to show these Olympic categories have a slightly higher level of performance. Yeah, for sure. We're seeing the best of the best really funnel into those classes, make their way towards an Olympic berth. So 188 now on the bar. Well, sorry, 188 was the move. 185 will be the lifter for Yakovides. I have to believe he's going to come out. Yeah, here he is in the tunnel. He's done more. He's done as much as 95, 195, mm -hmm. but, you know, with an injury and, and whatnot, that can become just difficult to put those weights on the bar.
He told us that he's been struggling with training, trying to find his rhythm. He referenced his age being 32, makes things a little bit more difficult to train at this high level. And the most that he's made in training was 187 and a half recently. This is big. Four seconds. Wow. He touched his elbow, I think. I don't know if he did. We I think it was close. I think yeah. they buzzed him for it. Three reds on the bar. He's going to keep sorry. going. He's been given three yeah. red lights, yeah. but It didn't matter in the end. But I mean, he may well have done. He may well have done. It, it was his yeah. right elbow, I assume. He even, he even pointed to the jury. Yeah. Motioned to the elbow. Unfortunate. There's been a jury stop, though. Who stopped this? Off. And what's the protocol? <laughs> Surely they can't be overturning that. Here we go. So looks like it. This might be a. It's a bit interesting that they're. Uh, they're gonna have to slow that down. I I don't know if well the uh, the team played a challenge card. Have the jury decided to challenge the referees? Yeah, I'm actually curious if the reason they're judging this is because they want to make sure that the jury that the refs did give in did in fact give the right call. Because they gave him three reds before he took the jerk. Yeah. So if he didn't touch his elbow... Would he get another attempt? Yeah, potentially. That's my guess. Potentially something like that would yeah. have... They're just checking to make sure uh, they're doing their due diligence, I yeah. guess. Yeah, a good old fourth attempt, yeah. So I, I think they're going to agree before. that it is a no left. So Theodorus will end up with a 338 kilo total. Flying far above the B group's winning of 323, 15 kilos ahead. So Arta's now, it's going to be really looking to build a good total. He snatched incredibly. He had a save on his third attempt, unlike anything else we've seen at this European Championships. Went three for three with 163 kilos, which was a personal best. His best cleaner jerk is 191, so he's well in the top range now. Ooh, a little bit tough on the recovery. Yeah, didn't get the bounce he'd have hoped for. A little far back on his heels. Makes a readjustment there. Uh, just yeah. a bit forward. Yeah, you can see he's not getting that bar behind his head enough. I think he can make this if he is able to catch the clean in the bottom with his weight a little further forward. He just didn't get a good bounce coming up. Took a lot more out of him than I'm sure he'd hoped. So Marin Robu will be the next lifter up. He took 180 kilos in the back room. And it looked very comfortable. Karapetian, though, almost as uh, expected. We've just had word. Just took 170 kilos in the back room. And wow. it looked very tough. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Word from the back is that it would be shocking if you came out for 200 kilos. Yeah, not unsurprising. There's Sir Bodies giving him a bit of last minute advice. Looks like he's informing him something on the rack, maybe the clean. Yeah. Definitely uh, <laughs> authoritative in his cueing. Well, he's seen it all. Yeah. So we have six athletes still yet to open. Three of them have ridden 190 kilos in. That's Marin Robu, Armands from Latvia, and Raphael Friedrich from Germany. Then we have Nico Müller with 193. Karapetian with 200 kilos. He is, of course, the leader after the snatch. And then Carlos Nassar has 205 kilos written in, which sounds pretty realistic. I imagine that 205 may well just seal the deal on the gold medal cleaner jerk, and then he has a bit of space to open up. Ah. 
Much better clean. Yeah, there we go. Racked it much more midfoot. Still had to stumble back and re rack it. He sits upon that jerk very far back on the heels. There we go. Yep. You can see they really got that bar behind his yeah. head. Just that extra few inches, and it makes it so much more stable. I mean, there's really no other way to make the lift, but yeah, really good work for him. Yeah, that split was so nice. The bar just moved perfectly vertically in the drive, and then his front foot and his back foot moved seemingly the exact same difference, forwards and backwards. Perfect. 190 now. Great lockout. Most likely to be the next attempt. Yeah. For his teammate. You know, for what was such a strong snatch session with Makes, we've had quite a uh, quite a rough time of it in the cleaner jerks so far. Well, you know, like we just heard from the back, as far as Karapetian goes, I almost am a bit concerned as this number grows in the clean and jerk if he's going to come out for a number that that he can make. We just haven't seen him yeah, perform yeah. super well in the clean and jerk, and well, he will clean it. And yeah, so there we, might yeah. be a sense of, That's you know, true. being the guy who comes out in front of a huge crowd and cleans a massive weight and can't make the jerk. There might be a more interesting the, story to sell the Armenian crowd yeah. than the athlete who is actually just not quite as good in the clean and jerk as the rest. The sort of hero falling on his sword. Right. So Armand's was going to be the next up because Marin Robu bumped to 193, but he now joins Robu at 193. So the only athlete with 190 kilos left is Raphael Friedrich from Germany, who snatched 165 kilos. He is certainly a man looking to move ahead of Marin Robu. That's where this battle for bronze is potentially going to lie. Silver, maybe, if Karapetin can't make his 200 opener, which is a massive opener for him. Now he had phenomenal technique in the snatch. He told us that the most he's made in training this year is 193 kilos. Been dealing with some knee and back pain, he said. Oh, tough That's clean. So he's going to have to let... Wow, I thought yep. he was going to have to let it go, but... Somehow. No belt. He's shaking. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to let it go, surely. He looked like he adjusted there. I don't. I think His he needs legs to put are this down. He needs to let it go. He needs to... Uh... Oh, yeah, that was unbelievable that he I have held it so long. I was getting a little bit concerned yeah. after what we've seen at these yeah. championships. You could see that clean if you watch the replay take note of the fact that yeah. he racks the bar and then the bar drives him down really deep into the hole. Yeah. He basically loses all of that structure under the bar, all that pressure he can use to support the weight and he just ground that out. He can take a big step back to yeah. make it. Now Karapetian has dropped down yeah. probably very smartly 10 kilos yeah. from his opening attempt to 190 kilos. Look to get a total on the board. which I mean, this it's the right move because it's what could guarantee him you know, a, a bronze medal in, yeah. in the total. Maybe even a silver. You never know. He's so far ahead in the snatch. Yeah, 190 is still very big for him here from what we've seen recently. I the mean, clean if he will be makes strong. this, Roby would need 203, which he's never done. Yeah. <laughs> Such a powerful clean. But take note of his left elbow. Wow. Oh, looks like Carapetian remembered how to jerk. It's been seven years since his injury in Rio de Janeiro, but that is a solid lift for him. And he moves into the lead, 368 kilos in the total after his opener. Huge day for him so far. That would have been enough for sixth at the World Championships. Two attempts remain. Not a bad place to be. Yeah, and the clean just incredibly just strong. Built to clean. Yeah, he's, he's a man who potentially could clean with the best of them. Yeah, oh, definitely. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see him take a shot at a 220 clean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he'd buy a racket. Yeah. Okay, Rafael needs this. He worked so hard. He did so well in the snatch. 
Yeah, we saw the last one really rattled him. He cleaned it, and it just pushed him into the hole very deep. Yep. He fell backwards, but he fought hard to make an attempt at the jerk. just was not going to happen. I guess he'll need to try and rack this a little bit higher. He's got to really do a great job on that. That's better. Oh. Oh. You know, he's just so slow under the bar that you can see him not moving the feet aggressively. Yeah. He's basically getting so into his heavy. shoulders, but, but trying to ride it down, sort of fight it at the same time. It's, it's not going to work. He's got to he be more decisive. There, yeah. He gives himself a little bit of extra time before the clock starts. Smart man. Yeah. The, uh, maybe not the oldest trick in the book, but a common trick in the weightlifting book. So he has one attempt remaining. He's in a he's in a bad spot here. He's had five missed lifts, three made so far on the clean and jerks. Every athlete in that last session made their opener. Of course, two athletes withdrew, but of those who came out, they all made. We had more success. Well, we had all but three second attempts were made. All but two third attempts were made. That's incredible. More people made their thirds than seconds. Yeah. So he is going to, I guess he's going to retake it. I what mean, would he do here? He just couldn't go up to a 93. Well, his first attempt was a little bit too far back yeah. on his foot when he caught it. He lost his structure. His, his hips just dropped under. On that other one, he was a little bit further forward. He looked a little bit more midfoot, but then as a result, his upper back just collapsed. Yep. What's he got to do here, Max, on he's, this third attempt? He's got to be much more aggressive on that rack, much more aggressive on the footwork as well. You know, keeping his feet basically stuck to the floor there, it makes it so difficult to get any bit of extra speed yeah. moving his hips under. So when he racks it, he's actually not in a great position. You know, he pulls it high, but he's taking so long to ride the bar down, and he loses that... that like you said, that tightness mm. and structure under him. Yeah, in general, as you pull under, as soon as the feet come off, there's a little bit more speed yeah. in pulling under the bar. Some athletes can just time it so well that they can almost keep their feet stuck to the ground, but most athletes need to lift it off. Yeah. Not least just to find a better standing position in the clean. Yeah, I think what we're going to really be looking for here is how aggressive he is on that rack, the footwork and the turnover. Can he turn that up just a little bit more? He's felt the weight a few times, so he knows he can do it. He's just got to be a little bit more aggressive. That was it. That's the one. If he ever has a chance to make it, this is it. Wow. wow. What a comeback. Yeah. He did it. He did it right. Everything he could have done. That is huge. 355 kilos. Moves him into second place behind Cap Hetiard, who still has a commanding lead. 368 kilos. Our man's has 192 kilos written in. For his opening attempt, he'll be out next. Four athletes still to open. Our man's Marin Robu, Nico Mueller, Carlos Nassar. Yeah, that lift was yeah. so improved. Perfect. It was as good as he could have been. So now here we have our man's. He's a little bit weaker in the snatch than his teammate Arters, but a stronger clean and jerker. So the battle between those two is now truly underway. We'll see what sort of shape he's in. 200 kilos is the most that we've seen from him in the past. He hit that 200 at the World Championships where he placed 11th. Very strong yeah. clean. And a great jerk. Solid. Yep. You know, a silhouette of his lifting would look textbook. Just such a, a typical, very, very solid sort of, uh, you know, the, the standard we'd all look to do. Uh -huh. 
We'll see how his strength plays out, though. Very nice lift. So in the back room, Carlos Lassar has had to take 120 kilos three times. Apparently he's getting fidgety, he's getting frustrated that he's still at 120. He wants to oh, wow. be putting weight on the bar, but the coaches know that he still has many, many attempts until he needs to come out. Yeah, you know, when an athlete lifts that much weight, you can't make a lot of mistakes in the warm-up room. You don't want them taking 200 several times. Well, we saw him we last year, didn't we? He hit 200 that. and maybe 15 minutes early. Had yeah. to build back up. Here's Marin Robu now, 193. This will move him into silver medal position. Good clean. Yep, that's strong. He well, you it. know, he made 190 kilos in the training hall two d two days ago. Wow. That's not long ago to have made such a heavy lift. Yeah. Um, he told us, though, that in this phase of gaining weight, he was able to clean and jerk 205 kilos. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit wobbly overhead. He had to do a little bit of work to hold on. And he's very cleverly wearing a singlet and a long sleeve that is the same shade of blue as the backdrop just to yeah. <laughs> make it a little bit more difficult for the judges to see if there's a wobble in the elbow yep astute observation and a little bow to the crowd nico muller now 194 kilos he looked very strong on his opening snatch but missed his next two attempts at personal records of 163. This opener will put him up into fourth. Of course, he has a best internationally of 200 kilos. He told us he made 201 in training. Be interesting, Max, to see what this added weight has done to his clean and jerk. Very strong. Yeah, he racked that easily. Pretty good jerk as well. Yeah. You can see he gets that back foot down just a hair earlier. It really allows him to drive through the finish of that uh -huh. with his arms. So only one athlete now to open up, and it's Carlos Massar. He's asking for 205 for that opening attempt. I would be surprised if that opening attempt wasn't heavier than everybody else's thirds. I, I could definitely see three attempts for him back to back. Yeah. Which might be a little bit tough. Well, Carpetian's got 200 in there as well. I'm yeah, but curious if he's going to even take that. Although, I don't think we would have expected 190 as an opener. No. I don't think he should take that because, given it's the shape of Marin Robu, assuming 203, you know, 203 might be possible for him, and 203 would be the number that he would need to move ahead of Carapetian. Yeah, a nice Whereas if Carapetian does 195, yeah, exactly. there's no way Marin's going to take a, a 208. And he would, yeah, he's got down exactly to 196. Third attempt for Vasily Knox. Nice clean. Yeah. Bit tough, but he's up. That's better than his last two. Ah. <laughs> he went for it. Yeah, just collapses pretty in the close. Jersey. So he'll be credited with a four for six performance, 163 in the snatch, 188 in the clean and do a 351 kilo total for him. Best snatch day of his life but not the best cleaner jerk day of his life. I wonder if that round of applause means that Andranik Karapetian has dropped down from 200. He has 196 kilos. This is a very smart move from Karapetian. You have to imagine that the Armenian coaches are also thinking to themselves, we need to see if we can get him into the top eight in the world to secure an Olympic slot. This would give him a 374 kilo total. Would have been enough for fifth at the World Championships. It might end up being enough for a top eight. 
powerful clean. Yeah. Wow. Can he hold it? Oh my word. Andranik Karpetian is lifting so well. He's in the shape of his life here today in front of a home crowd. So many Armenians here, well over a thousand in the crowd supporting he's, this man. He's already exceeded his best snatch internationally yeah. and clean and jerk and total now. Wow. Yeah, 195 was his best in this category. And look at that. Just he remembered how flawless. to jerk. Brilliant stuff. Well, he's in the driver's seat now. He has a huge lead on Robu. One seven eight one nine six. He's at three seventy four right now. We're in Robo. That's just an enormous lead. So for those wondering, Carlos Massar has uh, clean and jerked one hundred seventy kilos. He now is one hundred ninety five kilos loaded. Possibly he's taking that two hundred five. Yeah, even if he is it. It feels a bit premature for him to be at his final backroom lift when we have probably seven lifts before he comes out. Yeah, or potentially he goes 205 in the back. Yeah. Now this... Is a carefully chosen left. It moves him a kilo ahead of his teammate, who is now out of the competition. Beautiful clean. Yeah, wonderful technique. Oh, can he yep. stay with it? Strong jerk. There we go. Yeah, yeah that's wonderful stuff by our mans. You know, there's so many aspects of that lifting that are just a pleasure to watch. He's balanced, he's yeah. coordinated, everything looks timed well, and the energy is just evenly distributed across all parts. Yep. He's not very wild or uncontrolled at any moment. Structurally very sound. You know, there's only two kilos under his best. He might go for a new personal best at 201. So Robu taking 198. This is pretty smart. This just, uh, I think this makes him untouchable for a bronze medal in the total. Yeah. This is very clever play here by the Moldovans. Three kilo international record for him if he gets it overhead. Very fast on the pull. Wow, he, he grinds out that recovery. Wow, oh, snappy on the jerk. Can he stay it. still? He can. There we go. He is excited. That's a great lift. Just the one knee sleeve today for yep. Marin Robu. It's a trademark look but it helps him with his various obstacles he faces in his body, <laughs> various imbalances. You know, his mobility, his positions look better, like yeah. you said earlier. It looks quite a bit better than yeah. he has in the past. Oh, it's still an uncomfortable looking ball in position, but he grinds up as he said. This might be the fastest jerk I think I've ever seen from Robu. So he has one attempt remaining. I guess he'll just save it for a silver in the cleaner jerk. Nico Muller now will take 199 kilos. It will momentarily move him up into third. Of course, Carlos Nassar still yet to open up here. This is a kilo under his international best. which he made uh, at the World Championships in December. Again, strong clean. Oh, a little bit wobbly, yep. perhaps. Yeah. You could see as he made that readjustment, as he stood up, he locked that right arm out a bit more and pushed uh -huh. the bar forward a hair. Yeah, he just sort of moved his head back behind yeah. the bar. Yeah. A lot of these athletes now staying on the platform, getting a few extra seconds rest. Yeah, he knows uh, He knows what's coming here. What happens there? I mean, at some point, the athlete has to come off. 
Well, the and TC would have to come up there and pull the athlete off, yeah. move them off. And so they can just wait for that moment. So that's a missed lift, unfortunately, for Nico Bula. He will probably retake that again because he'd have to jump up to 201 kilos. So we have Armands is asking for 201, as is Marin Robu. Armands not looking for a medal in the total. He's just looking for a medal in the cleaner jack with that. Marin Robu, who's guaranteed himself a bronze or silver. You never know what might happen with Carlos in the total and is looking for a slightly better medal in the cleaner jerk. Andranik Karapetian has guaranteed himself a silver. Again, maybe a gold. You never know what happens with Carlos. And Carlos still has three attempts remaining. He hit 195 kilos in the back room. We are fortunately privy to seeing that lift. He hasn't even put his belt on yet. Yeah, very easy. So presumably that's the last lift that Carlos will take in the back room. Again, like I said, I, it feels a little early, a little bit premature. We have four attempts before he comes out. Well, another interesting note, we've got Carpetian with 206. Yeah, that's most likely a placeholder, but I would think 202 to give him that 380 total. I guess it's there on the off chance that Carlos Nassar... Yeah. Only makes his opener. That's true. He can take a shot at the gold and, and the crowd will love it. Okay, so Nico Müller from Germany will take his final attempt now. He's got a really strong clean, very sound. That overhead position, though, was a bit odd. Made yeah. that final adjustment and basically pushed the bar forward. He is, of course, the 2018 European champion, though he's not stood on the podium since. He placed fifth in 2021. That was the last time we saw him. Oh, pretty good. Okay. Watch for the lockout overhead. There he we go. He gets his head through. It yep. You can see a little it. bit <laughs> forwards and backwards, though, doesn't it? He's but gonna he do held the same, it. But he, he fought with it. And that is uh, a good lift, 358 kilos in the total for Nico Müller. It's not going to be enough to put him in the top eight in the world, which is what all of these athletes are hoping for if they want to go to the Olympic Games next summer in Paris. But it's not a bad place to continue on with his journey to Paris. In also fact, it's less than he made at the yeah. World Championships. Yeah. So Armand's will be the next athlete out with 201 kilos. If he makes that, Marin will go for 202. You'd imagine he'd bump up a kilo. But this 201 is a kilo personal best for Armands. I think the Latvians think this is a smart move, obviously, because Robu's last clean was pretty tough. So as expected, Max, I mentioned that I thought Carlos had warmed up a bit early. He's back down to 150 kilos in the back room, yeah. which he's taking for a single. But now 201 for Armands. He's got a very solid clean. Just technically sound all around. Oh, very nice. This is possibly for a medal in the cleaner jerk. Oh, uh, he's just uh, so slow on the dip. I think it was yeah. mental there. He, yeah. he wasn't passing out. He just didn't, no. didn't have the confidence for it. Yeah, he's so. okay. So two attempts remain. One for Marin Robu, one for Andranik Karapetian. Then, of course, three for Carlos Nassar. I think we will indeed see Carlos, uh, sorry, Marin Robu come out to take this 2-0-1. Personal best for him, of course. And solidifying a medal in the cleaner jerk. He's already guaranteed himself a uh, medal in the snatch and in the total. Yeah, he's, all, he's ahead of Carpetian currently in the cleaner jerk, but I don't think anyone expected Carpetian to be in the shape he's in. So no. this 2-1, I'm thinking Robu hopes this is enough. 
Oh, it's fast. Oh. He snuck under. Oh, and he just let the bar roll a little bit forward down his chest. Yeah. But Robu's in a good spot there. He's got a bronze in the snatch. He's almost, well, he's got a bronze, uh, probably fourth in the, in the clean and jerk, unfortunately. But he's going to walk away with a medal in the total at the first European Championship. He's so, competed at 89. You know, the first thing I see here, the man that comes out of the second tunnel to our right is, you know. Yep, so Antonio Pizzolato once again on the right-hand side of the platform, looking directly across the platform, which will be into the eyes of Carlos as he comes out, which yeah. I still don't, I'm not sure if I think that's, a, I'm not sure that's okay, that he's able to do that. He is still a competing athlete. Other athletes aren't allowed to be in that area. And it's certainly putting an element of pressure onto Carlos that Nina wouldn't have put on him if he was competing. I mean, Carlos has to be aware. Yeah, absolutely, he's seen him there. We'll see if it matters. It might, it might backfire on Nino here. So opening attempt now for Carlos Nassar. Wow. This is what he made in the training hall three days ago. His jerk is just becoming was, so yeah. strong. It's truly remarkable. I think we're watching the birth of a legend here. He is becoming a different lifter. He's always been incredibly capable with a lot of potential, but now we're seeing that realized. Four lifts in a row. He's in the driver's seat. Wow, 206 is going to go on the bar for Carapetian. Well, we sort of knew he was going to go for it because yeah. it... It, well, because of this, he gets yes. this experience now, which is yeah. a roaring crowd of Armenians watching him potentially go for and you know that. Well, this is for the lead. Let's not forget it. Yeah, that's true. He'll he'll be in the gold medal position here. Carlos hasn't changed his official one kilo increase. His name is still on the board for some reason. That would be a second attempt. It should not be him. Let's just. I'm not sure what's hope going that on. The there it is. There we go. Phew. There we go. Just a bit of a technical hiccup. And in some ways, this is perfect for Carlos because it gives him a little bit more of a breather yeah. to separate some attempts. Yeah, very true. Okay, this is absolutely massive for Andrana Carpetian. Yeah, this is huge personal best. This will almost certainly give him an Olympic spot. <laughs> wow. Beautiful clean. Oh, oh. He just doesn't have it for the jerk. No. <laughs> and you have to wonder, was that planned? <laughs> you know, a man who hasn't cleaned jerk, who hasn't jerked over 195 in about seven years, taking a 206 attempt in yeah, front of a home crowd. He, he cleaned it. He cleaned it so well. No, you know, no one would have ever thought he had no business taking yeah. that number. So, Will Carlos take to 11 now, or will he make a bigger jump in the hope of then taking a, another jump to a, you know, either a world record in the total, which he would need 219 to do that. Well, this would be a junior world record total, 211. Right, right okay. So I think he's going to do this, and then we'll see what kind of what kind of Carlos is here? Nope, he's put 221 on the bar. Okay, he's going to go for the world record on his second attempt. You know, I was going to say, the next two attempts are going to tell us, they're going to define oh what Carlos word. is, and we know what he's about. And he wants two shots at everything. This would give him a junior clean and jerk world record, a senior clean and jerk world record, junior world record total, senior world record total, and, uh, you know, in front of his number one competitor, bragging rights. Yeah, and Antonino Pizzolato is just standing to the right of the platform, staring out towards where Carlos now has just come out. If Carlos looked left across the stage, he would see Nino. This is a staring. In fact, we can just see him on your screens there on the other side, looking at Carlos as Carlos walks out for a world record attempt. This is, of course, the first world record attempt we've seen 
at these European Championships. A 16 kilogram jump. The most Bulgarian thing you could do. Second attempt, world well, records. Well, he told us that he made 233 kilos in training, which is 13 kilos over his own world record, which makes this a little bit more believable. New world record for Carlos Nassar. Huge it's ball. a very strong clean. And that is going to be a new world record for wow. Carlos Nassar on his second attempt. That is unbelievable. He's 18 years of age. It's two world records in one lift. Finally, he puts together the snatch and the clean and jerk. So he gets the clean and jerk and total world records. And Max, with Antonino Pizzolato staring him down, you have to wonder, did that help Carlos to make that lift? I, I, I have to believe that. Carlos uh, strikes me as the type who's motivated. We saw him in the training hall basically mimicking Nino with the snatch pulls that were not even planned on his workout. The question now... Does he take a third attempt? He has one attempt remaining. There's a reason Is he going to go for <laughs> four reds? There's a reason they call them the unbelievable Bulgarians. Yeah. He is unbelievably Bulgarian. Wow. He puts on his new pair of knee sleeves and he sets a world record. Wonderful stuff. Will he make a change? Everybody in here is staring at the scoreboard, looking at that third attempt, waiting to see if it changes. Right now, of course, 222 kilos is the automatic increase. Are we going to see 225 kilos? If he comes out for a third attempt at 225... Or 226 would give him 400. I was just going to say, 226 would be... It would move him into the category of... From weightlifting up, he's passed. He's, he's passed. He, okay, Smart. Carlos Nassar declines that third attempt. What a spectacular end. And you know what? Antonino Pizzolato would have to be in the best shape of his life if yeah. he had wanted to beat Carlos there. Last year, I think he was in the sort of shape which may have allowed him to, to keep up with that, maybe even win. But finally, the 81 kilo world champion, the 89 kilo world record holder is a continental champion. The bronze medal will, of course, go to Marin Robu of Moldova, 166, 198. The silver medal to Andranik Karapetian, 178 snatch, 196 clean jerk. And the gold medal with a new Junior world record snatch, 174. A senior world record clean and jerk, 221 kilos. And a senior world record total, 395 kilos. The 18-year-old from Bulgaria, Carlos May Nassar. What a spectacular end to that session. We will, of course, keep this live stream going. But for me and Max, that's it. We're going to be back in about 40 minutes for the women's 76 kilo category. We'll see you there.